everyone do you know that harvard business school accepts only 14% of the students out of 8 to 9000 application it receives every year yes that indicates that harvard business school is extremely selective and strict about its admissions isn't it so that's why it's very crucial for us to understand every single detail about harvard business school admission process its application details its round 1 round 2 criteria when should we apply when should we have our scores ready etc etc so in today's video i'm going to tell you all about harvard business admission process its placements fee structure campus life etc let's get started everyone now the MBA or MBA process in Harvard Business School happens in two rounds. Round one starts in September six, twenty twenty four. If you plan to do admission or take admission twenty twenty five, you'll have to apply in by September six. You must have a GMAT GRE scores ready. However, if it's not ready, do not you worry, my students. You can apply also in January or by January third, twenty twenty five for twenty twenty five admission. So there, these are three rounds for Harvard Business School. Your application fees will be two fifty USD, approximately twenty thousand. Five hundred rupees. Converting, you can just adjust with the latest currency rates. It can be slightly more or less, but approximately twenty or twenty one thousand rupees. Acceptance rate, that rate as I told you, fourteen percent. Approximately one thousand one hundred forty students were accepted last year in twenty twenty three, while it got eight thousand one hundred forty nine applications. So make sure that you apply on time. You have your profile ready. You have your SOP statement of purpose, letter of recommendation, essays, everything ready. along with your score do not work on all these once you get the score a lot of students do this mistake but then your sop and lor do not turn out to be very well the answers are not great and that sometimes leads to rejection we need to understand apart from our gre or gmat cut off it also looks into a lot of criteria a lot of things so just a good gmat or gre score is not enough right what are all those criteria let us understand now you must have a bachelor's degree approved by or accredited by great like accredited institution then you must have gp of 3.7 that is approximately 90 or 92% along with gre and gmat you'll have to take an english proficiency test either ielts or toefl if you're going for ielts your band should be above 7.5 and for toefl score should be above 100 or around 109 if you're taking gmat and gre the gmat verbal score should be approximately in the range of 25 to 51 quantitative range will be 31 to 51 and if you Have taken GMAT Classic. Your score ideally should be 740, whereas in GMAT Focus Edition it should be 690 plus. As I said, all the score is not the only criteria. This is just the average range. Maybe slightly lower than this. If someone is getting, they can still get the admission depending on their overall profile. If you're going through GRE, your score should be 320 plus. You'll have to write two essays of approximately 400 words each. You need two letter of recommendation in which there will be two questions. Apart from that, you'll have to also give your resume you must have work experience of around 5 years and you'll have to prepare for live interviews for harvard business school right they will help you how it will be and everything before your final interview happens but you'll have to prepare for all these things so those who are targeting september deadline or september round they must have all these things ready and not just their score now your fee for one year will be approximately 79000 to 80000 dollars which is just the tuition fees and your expenses will be be additional to that so for two year it will be in rupees if we convert it will be approximately 1.5 cr because 79 to 80 thousand dollars will amount to 70 lakh rupees right if we convert in the latest currency rates so you'll have to have 1.5 crore but there are various scholarship programs for harvard business school considering it's very expensive for majority of the students there are more than 80 scholarship programs some of them will, will be i would say the most popular ones will be bosni mba harvard College scholarship program which gives scholarship of up to 45 to 46 lakh rupees to only one student which is merit based depending on your gmat or gre score and its deadline is by 1st january 2025 next famous scholarship programs are horace w goldsmith fellowship and next one is the robert s kaplan life science fellowship both these scholarship programs will give 8.3 lakh to 10 students each the deadline for this particular scholarship is 4th january 2024 which is almost over and again this is merit based if we talk about need based scholarship program students that will be harvard college financial aid prospect 
prospective students. It will again give you need based. It can just fully completely fund your application or admission fees or maybe partially fund. Second is again Harvard College Financial Aid to current students, prospective and to current students. So even Harvard gives and it is various. It's not just limited to one or two students. Generally, every year, hundreds of students get this particular need based scholarship. But you have to have some good score and fulfill the entire admission criteria to be eligible for these scholarship processes or admission or scholarship guidelines. Students, there are 70 to 80 more scholarships covering everything will not be possible in this video. So you can just find the link below where you can just see all the 70 or 80 scholarship programs available for Harvard Business School admissions. Now, if we discuss about the placements at the end of two year MBA program, approximately 73 to 80 percent students are eligible for placements and among them majority of like 80 to 90 percent students receives job offer of approximately $175,000, which in Indian rupees will be 1.5 crore per year, right? Which is a great return on investment on your fees. Definitely the fees of Harvard is very high, but return investment is equally high. So $175,000 is an average median base salary if we talk about signing bonus whenever you get an offer initially you get a check and amount which is again approximately usd thirty thousand dollars and rupees it will be 25 lakh rupees so that is great majorly most of the students will get into finance consulting and marketing and of course majority of the jobs will be within usa 90 percent of the jobs will be within usa and 10 percent can be anywhere in other developed countries harvard business school top recruiters are adobe air france amazon Google, Facebook, eBay, Netflix, Nike, basically all the top companies you must have heard or you're using as a consumer. So it will be very exciting to work for these companies. Now let us talk about the campus life in Harvard. How is the program structured and how exactly you're going to learn or do your MBA? Now, as we know that Harvard Business School or Harvard University for that matter gives importance to diversity and inclusion, you will get to meet every person from different walks of life, from different ethnicity, culture, country, etc., which will give you a very panoramic experience. At the same time, we talk about a general day-to-day -day routine, how a Harvard student spends his day. It will be mostly with classes, on night discussions at the dining table hall with friends, some drama productions, athletic competitions, outing to Boston museums, right, etc, etc. It also gives importance to extracurricular activities, especially on athletics, health and well-being. So, like, you know, it's not just studies, it's a lot of experiential learning and since it is situated in Cambridge, Massachusetts, your overall experience is going to be really nice a lot of learnings a lot of experiences to be imbibed in your two-year MBA journey. Harvard University also provides accommodation you can choose to stay on and off campus depending on the cost and your preferences if you choose to stay within campus you'll have to pay rentals of course which will be additional extra apart from your tuition fee student so that is it for today's session if there's anything you think I did not cover or you wanted to know about Harvard admission process please write down in the comments below and and answer it immediately as soon as possible I mean so thank you so much students for listening to me I'll see you soon with the next video